Testing. Hey, what the? Yo, I'm good. Just if I have audio problems, just try to like you know let me know as soon as, as possible because I'm trying to I'm trying to get everything perfect, but I do I still make mistakes like moving in and out of the house and trying to have my laptop everywhere except for when I'm actually in a store. Sometimes I get the audio wrong. Just uh, feedback is like really really important. I mean, that's how you balance, right? Like feedback is almost everything when you're dealing with the population, you know, like what, what they tell you. It's, it's not about what we can do for you. It's about what, you, about what we can do for us. And if we don't do that, we're fucked. Like we'll just be a bunch of cucks. You can't take any like past models and apply them. Humans have never even seen a beautiful community. It didn't just kind of happen naturally by accident. Like, this is the time to be alive, no? Like maybe people think that at other times, but like, there's never been a greater difference between the potential of the technology that existed and the application of that technology in human history. Like I think we're, we're more behind our tech than we've ever been. It feels that way. Yeah, it's the opportunity of thousands of years, I think. This is like, we obviously humanity could fuck it up right now. Like we could, some bad shit could happen, but like there's a little bit of time, there's a window here. You know, and I call it more renaissance because I want people to laugh first because it's all really super, super serious. But like after more renaissance, well, I think it'll come like real, you know, like real renaissance, like thousands and thousands of brilliant people in the world who previously were doing some other shit, who find a way to work on shit that they care about, how to like tap into their creativity and build worlds, like worlds that make this world look as dumb as it is. Like clearly, clearly as dumb as it is, like very clearly and concisely, like. And then after you do that, like after you want to, like then then maybe you can start to show them some of the answers. Like people don't even think like there's a reason to think that much. Like it's not it's not that serious. There's no hurry, you know. Just get on with it. But not not when the potential difference is so great. Like not when we can. There's a legitimate chance to build the greatest organization in human history. Like that's that's real, you know. Like and. To me, it's a sci-fi is the way you can't, you know, you gotta, you gotta tell people stories. You can't, you can't religious them into shit. I mean, can there be a church in story? Fucking absolutely. It's a, a book you should read. Um, just heard about this. It's a novel based on Dune. It's not in the Dune universe. It's a novel about fans of Dune. Right. And I don't remember the name of it. Um, what they do is they make a religion inspired by Dune. And it involves their own uh, sort of narcotic they use to their altered consciousness to help with their cult. And they name the narcotic Siege Tabor after the Siege in Dune. And that's about all I know about it. But it's an endorsement, I think, of the cult in the story. The author of the story says that he, if the if the cult existed in real life, he would join it. Right. And, you know, if you read a book like Fight Club, you realize, no, the author would not want to be Miller Durden or, or join Fight Club. The author is trying to um, paint a picture that is deceptively appealing just so that you'll realize what's wrong with it, not to, like, actually convince people to do it. But apparently, the author of this book says he would join his own fictional cult. and. I think it would have appeal for you because you're you're putting stories that kind of self insert and you're trying to get people to do science fi stuff. Sounds like that's what the author of this story did. Seems like a good approach. I'll look at it. I, I my ideal though is to is to tell the story of you know, like why utopia. So I mean what so it looks really bad, right? Like I think you could literally build a utopia for a lot of people, right? It wouldn't be for everyone, but for a lot of people it would be amazing and free and rich. But I think if you address it like from the from the right initial perspective, you can make it look horrible, right? You can just show a few things, and without context, it might look like the people had been like enslaved, right? Like that these people have been forced to do this. You think, oh my god, this is horrible. Yeah, it looks great, but it's horrible. Um, and then in the end, they like then you know like twelve Angry Men style, you work through the arguments, you you run into the objections of of twelve 
visitors and, and you tear those objections down. You leave the person alone, you just tear down their their arguments. And at the end, they understand like, oh, I get it. Like, this is utopia, but it's just one of a million of them, right? Like, it doesn't take a village. It takes a million. It takes a million and people have to be able to move. And honestly, I'm a huge Zeppelin fan in the future. I think lots of people are going to move very long distances at relatively slow speeds, like in, in lighter than aircraft. <laughs> like, I love Zeppelins. I mean, not, not for a second, I, I thought you were talking about Led Zeppelin music. I was like, what? A Zeppelin fan from the future. How does oh, that no, work? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, Led Zeppelin is a hilarious uh, word play. I'm not a huge Zeppelin fan. I mean, they got some great songs, but my brother and his friends, like, I went to, like, they got me into rock. Like, they kind of pulled me into it, and I liked it for a while, and then I kind of realized, wait a minute, I like this because of them. I don't know what the fuck just happened, and I kind of moved to, like, rap and electronic dance music and i don't listen to that much rock listen music, to I listen music at all I, I i think so i mean i could definitely use you know quality recommendations in that in that space but i mean I, I listen to shit like i listen to shit that makes me move right i was telling ace like my first popular video is probably going to be me time lapsing sitting on a bouncy chair at my computer and 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 dancing to music in my truck and getting a fucking crazy six pack, right? Like just like in the video, I'm sitting there shirtless and I start out like, you know, I can make myself look kind of fat a little bit and just turning into a fucking beast. So side trans might make me move a little faster. I just like shit to move to. That's it. I think people that sit at their computer and they don't move, they're fucked. Like I think in the future you could like, look, and everybody or everybody in a certain system would literally be moving. You know, they'd be metronoming or something. They would not sit completely still when they were doing anything that matters. There's people that do standing desks and I've seen people do the treadmill desk thing where they're like doing physical exercise. I mean, imagine a game where you get on a treadmill and there's like a beautiful screen or you got like a waterproof VR headset on. You're like literally just running, right? Like it'd be like Forrest Gump could be the, the spokesperson. Like you just keep running. <laughs> You know, and it changes speeds and shit. And you see, like, can you can you get through? Because we can make much better treadmills. Like, most of the shit we have is either, I guess gyms do it better. You know, like, a gym can afford to spend money on a really nice treadmill because people are sharing. When I look for it, I just figure out, what is it I want? And I want some crazy VR shit, probably a mech. And I want to afford it, twelve like, 12 times before I can afford it, right? Like, we've talked about this. Like, I want to timeshare the thing that's possible long before uh i myself could afford it right if i was only going to use it two hours a day that means i can find 12 other motherfuckers and we can put our money together and we can build something that's so good that none of us give a fuck that we don't own it like you know we have two hours a day every day Done that. Either to... yeah that that's the shit to me like, bought a high-end vr setup with friends so we'd all have one early in the development of vr so at the time it was like thousands of dollars to get vr to work <laughs> Right. We just built a setup so we could all use it. It's just like, hey, who wants to pitch on this? Two hundred bucks each, and we had VR and like. A... Yeah, I mean, it's people think about this. The word, the, the name, <laughs> timeshare is one of the worst <laughs> names in the English language in America. If somebody thinks of, at least for many generation, that's not that wasn't a child like a few years ago. Like timesharing is like a horrible thing, right? It's like it just means con. Right. I mean, some sleazy snake oil salesman trying to like sell you some shit so he can make fees. But time sharing is the shit. And like when I talk about mind space time, like the cryptocurrency behind mind space, like that's all it's all it's about really is, is sharing the weight of financing the whole fucking network. Right. Like finding the necessary number of citizens with the necessary number of dollars to capitalize like some shit that makes the D, the DAO on uh, Ethereum look like I don't know. I mean something that we're glad happened even though it got hacked like they got 200 million dollars just for a distributed autonomous organization it didn't even have like a single piece of really unique equity in it so um so people have to share that shit right like people have to proportionately buy in to build like burger king sized pyramids in in all the cities of the world people have to pay for that we will not go to the cokes we will never ever go to the to the coke i mean if gates i don't know i don't think gates is as evil as people think i think if gates was like yo i will just give you 10 billion dollars because this is the coolest thing in the world like this is the network of the future this is free free marketing um we'd probably take his money because listen, you don't get any votes so like you can maybe comment on the tech like maybe you can comment on some of the shit that doesn't actually influence the community um yeah i'm i'm happy i feel happy I'm afraid someone's gonna come along and just just bash me in the back of the head with a fucking club and like 
just be taken out with the rest of the dead. You ever have things be, it's like so good that you're a little afraid in life. Like things are going so well, you're just like, fuck, what's going to happen? Don't worry, like, it gets worse. Or it, it will get worse. But it, of course it'll get worse, but I mean, it's still getting better. She, he turned me into a mute. I got better. Oh, a African swallow, maybe. <laughs> I was talking about a European swallow. European! What? No, European. <laughs> you're the ignoramus. So, uh, we got virtual reality shows coming, right? I will walk around. Nobody's going to know who the fuck I am. I will talk like this. I'll be like an insane person. I'll probably eat mushrooms and just put on a really lightweight helmet. You've been on yeah. VR chat? No, I've done no VR. I didn't, I'll do it now, maybe. Like, I got to come up with a, like a, a business plan, like which is really more of a work plan. Like, it's not, oh, we're going to make revenue. It's like, we're going to take this guy and and have him start to prototype right like and then and then we have a business plan because people see a couple inventions and then i don't have any problems at all it's when it's just words but no i haven't done any vr yet nothing i didn't want to ruin it it's, it's good vr chat's cool i've seen some videos of some weird ass characters walking around a room that's vr chat like they have avatars and they talk basically I mean, yeah, to me, it's all just more of a, like, it's a, a mind space based system, just X, Y, Z in time. Like, I, I, I believe in pre-censorship. Like, I believe, like, start with an empty net, right? Like, everybody, just start with a completely empty space. Put on your headset. Like, just enjoy the dark for a few seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even turn it on. Just sit there and just look and be like, holy fuck, it's dark. <laughs> and then, like, fuck it, press a button and, like, a light will come on, you know, like. Turn on the Big Bang. Like, is everyone going to see a representation of the Big Bang if they come into the, like, virtual Earth? I think so. I think that the initial, like, uh, cut scene will be pretty insane. You know, and, and you'll end up like, listen, I am, we are, at the moment, obviously limited to the fucking Earth, right? <laughs> like, we're limited to the Earth. And if you're one of the first people here, you're probably going to have to drop into the Aqualus Rift Valley. Aqualus, Aqual the Aqualus Rift has turned into the Aqualust system right this is i'm very i'm super aqua lusty i'm thirsty and un underwater vr systems are the best for for space and for water you know and there's all kinds of shit for the real world but space is amazing when you can be weightless and in vr in total blackness and like start to light up the stars it's 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 mind-blowing like i think it'll bo you guys already probably have seen crazy shit your minds may already have been blown but a lot of people need their minds blown open more right like they need to see bigger things and, and be reached by those bigger things and they need to keep their minds open because if they don't you can't like really build what you don't see it's very hard to succeed in something that you don't see and the shit that i see oh god it's, it's crazy it's amazing the goal is to try to like find the best of it and bring it down to earth without losing my whole self-worth i want to buy my son a mclaren people like i really on his 16th birthday i want to give him a three and a half million dollar car and that's wrong right like that is fucking wrong there's no how how selfish could you be to be like i like maybe deprive my cat kids when they were younger of an absolutely perfect and rich life in order to try to do something to make the world a better place i'm still going to get them the car that's the funny thing i'm going to get them the car i'm going to say listen here's the deal this is the mclaren version of uh, a lambro right like you have one day of the year right i bought this mclaren t1 but there's 365 people who are on the list they all have a day with the car and, and that's it, right? So one day of the year, you get to drive a $3.5 million Uber car with the greatest tech, greatest sound, perfect sound I, canceling. If I drove a McLaren, I would probably just like suddenly drive it off freeway overpass and die because it's fast. Right? See, I, you see, we're on the same page, dude. I was like, offered I a chance uh, to drive. It was a Jaguar. It wasn't a Jaguar. It was a... Um, a, a muscle car with a name for a Dodge Viper. Did you have a Dodge Viper? I have not, no. Um, Literally, I touched the gas once. I just put it in park and got out. I'm just like, no, thank you. <laughs> like, that, I can't, that... can't stay between the lines on a road with a car that's that powerful. The brain is calibrated to, like, push on gas. And if I did that, it would, like, punch into orbit. Yeah, there was a time many. Oh, shit, let me get down the stairs. First. There was a time many, many years ago. Um, I had some issues. <laughs> like I'm a, I've always been a spoiled kid. I'm a pussy, and some shit worked out where I ended up with uh, 
some money didn't get invested in something and I kind of freaked out about it. And, and so then afterwards, after the whole plans of this business shit fell apart, my father ended up buying me. I, I kind of had the choice, right. Of, of sort of how to spend $68,000. And the, 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 the most diametrical choice was between the Viper, which is an insane car and an Acura NSX at the same price. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you would probably take an NSX, right? You wouldn't choose a Viper over an NSX, would you? I don't even know what an NSX is. What? I would probably put $68,000 into some kind of capital producing investment instead of buying a car. Well, what if you had the choice between nothing or a gorgeous Acura supercar that was kind of just like an Accord, but was also perfectly balanced? But uh, choose the one that had the best resale value when I got the chance. The, the NSX that I had back then, that. those NSXs still cost a lot of money today. If that was your goal, and uh, let me find you the best link to something NSX related, because they are fucking, they are insane. I mean, they, they cost 250 grand now, right? Like Acura makes them now, they're hybrid, they got gas and electric, like they're, 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 they can perform more than the first generation NSXs. First generation NSXs were like, like they were the poor man's version of the McLaren P1. Like they were like the same shit, just without all the like crazy expense. Let's see, what is the best Acura video? Like I can send you to an amazing video for the P1, obviously, but the NSX videos. Let's see. NSX. The reason I know the McLaren is because I used to play the Need for Speed games a long time ago, and the Need for Speed games were clearly made by people who loved McLaren F1s. That's such a dude. The McLaren F1 is sick. The P1 is just. I mean, I want. I want to get an F1. There's only like 93 left, though. <laughs> like, there's only like 93 left in the world, and there's a lot of billionaires out there. So, like, getting one of them. It's the difference in a P1 and an F1. F1 is 25 years old. Okay. They both have, uh, uh, actually, does the P1, I think the P1 has the same seating arrangement as the F1 with one seat up front and two seats in back. Oh, you, you so I'm, I'm going to put a link in, uh, in here, and I'll put it in television too, to both the one video of the P1. These are like cars that shouldn't exist, right? They're like, these are... I Not know, quite street to... legal-ish, yeah. I mean, they just shouldn't, they're just, it's wrong. Kids starve to death, like, kids, like, the world is fucked, and people are driving $3.5 million cars. But at the same time, they are fucking amazing cars, and if you can't spend every cent you have, like, saving children's lives, like, eh, I kind of want to drive one. Let's see. What would be a good video? The NSX, dude, the NSX is fucking sick, dude. I can't, like, I'm so glad that I get to show you this little, I mean, you don't, you're not a huge car guy, right? Like, it's not your fucking, mm -hmm. but, but at the same time, like, driving cross country, like, to, like, I'll try the Senate NSX, this, are you an Acura fan at all, or you just don't give a fuck about cars? <laughs> More into utility vehicles. Tanks. Oh, shit, really? So I say, think tanks. That's something I want to make somebody. It's something called think tanks. It's like a think tank about tanks, not even and not even just military tanks. Like every kind of tank, you know, the water tanks that used to exist. Like fucking all sorts of. Shit. I want something like a lab that I can up armor, stop fifty caliber. Up. Um, what was I gonna say? Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, do you think we could we put uh like if we were gonna build a really really cool water tower, could we like integrate like. 10,000 server cores into that water tower if it was bringing like cool water and like the water was being sent to the people. Yes, no, maybe not. Um, you're asking if you could deliver drinking water servers at the same time? Well, I'm just saying, you would say we're, we're building a town, right? And we're building a water tower. We're building our version of shit that exists in the real world, kind of like weird tech that was required for certain utilities and maybe we build a, a tower a water tower that just has servers inside like that uses that that cools all those servers at the top when, when it's pumped up into the tower you know you actually store energy and water and then cool the servers just warm it up a little bit and the servers stay cool and we just integrate two systems together interesting idea i mean we, the the actual the, the, there's a possibility that the actual arcades the the, the literal locations where uh um, mind space and virtual worth are run that they, they will literally be uh, pyramids of 13 spheres the top of which is a hologram that advertises the rest of them are little spheres that you could climb into for cockpit based VR 
And it's possible that when we build these pyramids, because they should actually be pyramids, they should look like a bunch of globes stacked pyramid. We, we, I think I talked with, I don't, I don't even know who I talked to about what anymore. But we might actually have like a water park server farm, like in like really expensive properties in some of the world's major cities. So if you come there before, like we actually, like even in the winter time, we'll make it so the water is warm enough that if you want to like go to the locker room and change and like climb up to the top of the pyramid and slide the fuck down, basically like a small Aztec pyramid, right? Like it takes like 20 seconds to run to the top and then you water slide down the other side. It's like great exercise and water sliding is fun. And are we going to have to pay more to heat the water than just what the servers provide? Probably. But maybe if we like hyper clock shit, maybe the water will get hot. <laughs> Remember, it's all fiction. I don't decide what the fuck is what. Oh, what's up, bro? Oh, even though he can't hear you, say hi to Ix. He won't say hi to you. He's a he's an in real life pussy. He's afraid of the internet. So if I tell him this, like when a real world person walks up, I ask them to say hi to my friends, and they say no, uh, the internet's not real. Hello, internet. Hello, internet. Oh. Why is it so windy, John? I don't have any mic protection against the wind today. Oh yeah. So X is gonna. I'm gonna read Dune out loud. Dude, the Dune trailer's about to drop in a matter of days. Dune trailer? Dune's coming out. Oh, new Dune movie's coming out? Fuck yeah. Penny Bellino. The dude who did Blade Runner and did uh, prison, or, uh, yeah, he did Prisoners. He did uh, Arrivals. He did a bunch of good fucking movies. And they put out two. Dune coming out soon. Thanks. What do you think about this new Dune? His Dune TV series he's gonna try and produce. I'm a big fan of the director, Blade Runner that he made. Like exactly the kind of Blade Runner that I wanted. Whether or not it was a commercial success, I loved it. Isaac. Nick said he loves the director. I have to translate quickly. Every. Fun, fantastic, dark, interesting, and to have a good sense of uh, subtle use of symbolism with epic qualities to it. The dude's fucking incredible. Dennis Villeneuve, is, uh, one of the pictures of the moment, top one of my top five for sure. Anybody over by the park? Uh, yeah. I will send her a, a text right now before I forget. Her name is Chloe Mo. Chloe Emotional. Let's see if I can. I don't know if you're going to be able to. Like, I don't. I, I, fucking windy days suck, dude, when you're on the internet because it's very hard to bridge reality and the internet when it's windy. Go, X, can you say something? See if I can hear We can hear you. Oh. I bridge reality and the internet, yes. Dude, one night I bridged reality with this guy and another guy, and they were with Tofi. It went fucking off the rails. Challenge them to play chess or something? No, no, they just, they just, like, were, they ended up, like, really tearing into each other, like, it was, it, like, physics, the physics reality. Versus the imaginary, the perspective, denying that the physical world has any validity. Heinlein's Paradox? What the fuck? Calm, like, calm down, calm. So it's who brought up Heinlein's Paradox? Like, that's supposed to refute, like, grandfather paradox refutes, like, I don't understand what the fuck that even meant, but, like, Kept throwing another paradox. <laughs> Zeno's paradox. I was like, okay, so. They ask you about Newcomb's paradox. Did they ask you if you're one box or two box? Love that shit. <laughs> yeah. Kind of how it went. It's just paradox challenges. Like, yo. Was it Heinlein's paradox or Heinlein's razor? Razor. Why'd you say that so quietly? Is it the all these zombies paradox? A time travel paradox, right? Yeah, grandfather, the grandfather. Which, yeah, Highlands Razor. Uh, are you saying? Gra are you saying grandfather? 
Are you saying me Bob. to that old woman? You know this idea. You're from no. the science. I mean, you watch back to the future. Then you kill your father and grandfather. Time would that mean that you would cease to exist? Or would that create a fracture? No, of that's the after the fact. That's what happened. Well, it's just a question of how time travel would function if it could function. It's uh, taught like a tiger. And what, in fact, because we now, we now know on a quantum level, time travel does act like time is not so deadly. It is rather far more uh, wibbly wobbly as Dr. Who perceives it to be. So. Dr. Yeah, Whoville. There's Dr. Whoville, too. Open questions up, but talking about, like, yeah. A functional way to even understand that we got to have some acceptance of term like the physical world means you know like we got to accept you're like okay so einstein this I, is all an infection from tofi though you're continuing tofi's infection of the person but einstein einstein predicts one version of relativity and now we have quantum relativity which relativity does actually matter at all so these questions are being exemplified by trolls on the internet as i perceive them I don't know how sincere they were, but they sounded which is why I pushed back oh. hard. Yeah, I pushed back very hard. from thousands of years of understanding down to shreds in an instant and like you gotta push back again because yes although the question is up in the air you know relationships compared to einstein einstein because this is, we went through a, a fluctuation from newtonian physics to einstein's when einstein introduced relativity and we were separating from newtonian physics there were these same kinds of on. They were saying that, like, you don't know shit, and if you know, if you think you know, then blah blah blah. And sometimes it's throw merit, like fucking uh, Diogenes throwing a fucked chicken for the walls of, of fucking Socrates' shit about I am a whole to you, bipedal man, because if that's all it takes, Diogenes, man, if this has if this has value, but so Diogenes, Diogenes, yeah. Diogenes was a master troll, but he was, yeah, he was trolling Greek uh, philosophy and Greek physics. Looking for an honest man. What's that? Was looking for an honest man. That's a fool's, looking that's a fool's man, errand, because only children. Looking for an honest man, just firm. I love that fucking shit, man. Like, there's, Diogenes Day would be a thing, like, instead of on Halloween, we need a mask. The inverse of that would be Diogenes Day. Bearing lanterns, looking at each other's true faces, saying, "Man," and you never find one. You just continue upon that path forever. So if you think as an honest man, is his fucking point obviously? Like, you cannot be an honest man. There's no honesty in man. We are all separate creatures. Our self-awareness does not allow us to be truly honest. That's the way that a deer is honest. The way that a bird is honest. The way that a tree is honest. They're honest on a physical level. Honest level. trees, seriously. Honest trees. They're honest because You're saying they're honest trees. There's eggs. no deception in their existence. There's no dishonest trees. So what the fuck? If you don't have the opposite of a thing, you can't have the thing. But we exist deceptively. We're man, we're man who knows that we're. Uh, it's, it becomes complicated. But we got to talk about that reality. What happens when we know that we are that, that language to. We're Decepticon men. Thought, at, but yet at we worst. try to transfer these thoughts, language, and language is ultimately a deceptive practice. You can't actually transfer a thought into all of its reality. Well, we can do a pretty good job, though, right? Really? No. We can do a pretty good language job. Language pretty bad, man. Like, on, on a general front, like, language is pretty bad. Language is pretty bad at transferring what we, what we call thoughts. Thoughts are extremely complex, highly layered, and our language is struggling to catch up. Like, we talk about how Shakespeare is master because he came up with, like, you know, some new terms and, you know, layering of entendres and bringing in, you know, French concepts. 
foolish way and like combining is he was obviously transformative language object but like yeah that loop is a pretty small step to man we've got now coding like got all kinds of varieties of uh, but like you know like you are you familiar with esperanto Esperanto? no but jack speaks esperanto somebody asked him what yeah. other language do you speak i don't know jack but jack speaks esperanto jack actually left television like jack is apparently a black belt i don't know fascinating language because it's designed to be a functional language an efficient language it's designed to take into all the all, all account all the practice how language forms you it's I'm talking about funk sways and means of communicating with uh, people. Mm, really, but funk sway. You're not into the funk sway. Sort of funk of sway. That because language forms off of like uh, desire paths. You know, desire paths in city planning, like planning desire paths. Like you could, you could say like I want a 90 degree sidewalk. Guess what? There's a grass that you're in there. And that becomes a desire point. You realize that like that's the actual move as opposed to what you want them to move because it looks so language is one of desire point. What people just do instinctively. They just follow the, the path of least resistance. And then that constructs yeah language. Um, so it's slang, it's it's efficiency of of terms, it's body language. Like, like, so that's the whole point. Is language is layered already with language, with body language, fucking chemical emissions, fucking words we use, all this. And when we're trying to like encapsulate it in texting, TikToks, or YouTube's, like it's going to be insufficient. It's going to be more insufficient than it already is. Already insufficient in personal life. So making it. Like, in fact, your idea to be priming, priming is trying to be more efficient in your uh, communication system. Because if you rhyme, then you can bring emotionality and rhythm and other function into communication. So that's, yeah, that would make communication more functional, but it's not. You at some point start with what you're doing. Do in the flawed way that they do. Highly flawed, highly flawed, deceptive. It's highly deceptive. So you got to become literate to deceptive techniques. I'm illiterate, okay? No, become. I'm illiterate. Literacy, literacy for deceptive techniques in humans. Would You're a bring, fucking literate racist. Would bring like enlightenment. Imagine, from you could what kind of literacy. Literacy in deceptive techniques. You become more literate in the way people are. Oh, you mean like intellectual self-defense against? Huh? Intellectual self-defense against people trying to deceive you. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean... And you could achieve a certain sense of like uh, routine and like, literacy. To me, implies there is not just a a there is not an act implied in it. When you can just read, you can read. It becomes native. Almost like uh, involuntary muscle action. Now, you have created an involuntary muscle action in your psyche. So, yeah, literacy in terms of the way people can be deceptive. If you are all up on that shit and highly literate, yeah, you'll never be tricked. You'll never be fooled. And you'll have a key to understanding what people really mean when they're saying whatever the fuck they're saying. Because they're just very rarely ever saying whatever the fuck they're really saying is saying. Because there are often just projection, there's ego involved, there's fear involved, there's a sense of self, other, and a sense of, you know, angels and demons all playing a part, and people are perspective. So, getting into the area, real truth, really saying when they're saying something. Is, an, is, a, is a craft in, unto itself. It's got to be, it's a, it requires literacy. What if you were so amusing to sheep that a thousand people would give you a dollar a day just to like do yourself for an hour genuinely? Would you do that? Would you take the money? 
money for what? Say it again. A thousand people decide to patronize you. They're willing to give you a dollar a day. They're like, just stop your other shit. Just talk to us the way you do. Like, not on too crazy, not on too high of a level, but high enough that you're lifting us up without losing us. And also sketch on the screen while you're talking for a thousand dollars a day. Do you take the money? It's 365 G's a year. That's a lot of money for almost any person in the if you have to, But all you got to do is work for an hour with the screen. Fine. Douche. I mean, what does that afford me? That's, that's 365000 It affords you equipment that helps you work efficiently. It helps you communicate. It helps you. You can take 300 grand of that money and use it to dig wells or provide uh, community servers to other people. Sure. You can give them the chance to participate in more renaissance. Well, yeah, okay. I so think the Unholy Grail is actually the truth. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you it's not points. the movie. Okay, more renaissance uh, is one of the films. More money would mean more uh, good for the causes, I believe. It. Translate that. Almost so most. Just require a little bit of extra and, you know, a, a rejiggering of way I do. Okay, fair enough. So money would just mean I change the way I do things a bit. Um, but not net negative. Okay, so I'm 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 quick to shrug it off. I shouldn't be. But Look. I think that ultimately the your question is if I feel my message is ready feels ready to be shared. That's when I'll pull the trigger on sharing. So, yeah, the ideas of when money comes in is like, if I shared these ideas with these people for these reasons or on this format at this moment, even at this lower percentage, I feel ultimately like, yeah, let me let me find I am confident that my ideas have been well formed or ready to be shared. Now, I might need to degrade my idea of what that is. I might be uh, over perfection. Justifying like uh, a change, uh, or justifying the the preventing, preventing a change, the way I do more perfection. At least could be true, but ultimately, I think that uh, the ideas I'm working on right now have. I got the declaration of got. Commonwealth uh, and these things be based on what I see happening. Right now. I need to write the thing crystallize the shit of seeing the play of the inspiration process. I don't think it's going. I mean, me neither, really. I was I, I was really good at that for a long time, man. and it seems not native to me because I don't trust my sensibilities from the past. I feel like the way that I was good about it before, I fell victim to a lot of like uh, bad acting. So I need to be smart about that. So I'm being overly cautious. If I can be, yeah, I don't know, properly cautious and then still continually producing. In fact, this is something I want to talk to Caroline about tomorrow. Here. She's gonna be out. Uh, it's probably gonna be nice tomorrow, right? Check the weather. Uh, it didn't look great. Was Ozzy? Haven't seen him. He did send me a TikTok message. Let's check that. <laughs> we gotta quit smoking, dude. The future is beautiful, and we are smoking still. This is the last year of smoking. You can't do it. You're fucking poison. I agree. It's fucking poison. Here, this is what this is what I was. So this is me. <laughs> I'm going on history. <laughs> oh Jesus! So X, what are you doing? Jersey boy, boy. 
X, what, what project you tell us about? What are we working on? We're gonna get X. This, you, X, can you tell this motherfucker? You listen to him a little bit. Like he won't get on Discord. Like he wants to talk in person all the time. It's cold as fuck, and we're smoking cigarettes like idiots. He has a phone, so he can literally just. It's intelligent. Yeah, he's a good dude. I mean, he talks way the fuck too much, but sheep love this guy. Like, and he can talk to smart people. Like, he's a he's a mid big brain. He can communicate to both worlds. He gets a little offended because he everybody thinks they're a genius, right? Speak more. Sheep love. You. Sheep love you. You're able to communicate with with idiots. You can just you can. He I call him the an I call him the anecdote, right? I call him the anecdote. That's one of his characters. Dude, we got Scarface in the room. Um, we got big D X. We got big dicks. Tom Hardy's next movie playing Al Capone. Yeah. In a film called Scarface. You can call me L. The trailer looks pretty Capone. wild. Dude, what about the Al Capone Tom Express? Doing it. Uh, was it? Uh, we, we AI from the uh, NSAI, from National Security Artificial Intelligence, all we do is randomly combine ideas. You realize that was the secret to creativity, right? It's examining every possible combination of every idea in the universe. The sum of them somehow weirdly average out to a dime a dozen, right? But, mo but the vast, vast majority of ideas are positively nonsensical. I'm a non-sect quitter, right? When I join a sect, I don't quit it. And I don't just join cyber sect for cyber sex. I join cyber sex for cyber techs. I join cyber sex and I open up because I'm willing to get fucking cyber erect. I feel, what you said. You I feel good about what I just said. Right? It's fine. Right? 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 You know that some of the people, some of the people on the right, right? So the reason Trump got elected, there's several reasons. Um, one of them is people lying to uh, pollsters and, and skewing the data because they were afraid to say that they liked him. And I forgot the other one. Russia? <laughs> no, Russia. Uh, no, was gotta go. no, I got a phone call. China. Right. Uh, Israel, Saudi Arabia. The fact that they spent literally millions of dollars. <laughs> Oh, dude, X is cool. X is cool. X, X, is, X is gonna make me read "Do Not Loud" and type it at the same time. Right, the first demonstration of the reader ring, which is a magnetic printing tape for kids to bounce and ball from the future. First one's probably gonna be, and then probably late in this. I'm gonna type it out and read it at the same time, and then when we get the display right, kids will sit down and just get sucked into a literature. I got the same shit. Yes, I'll probably. But I have like okay. one hit. Yeah. Um, all right, come back. Go get her. I mean, I, weed, right? Like, just go get some weed. You're not even on the internet right now. You're just like, you're just sitting there with a beer talking, and it's, it's not even a microphone. There's not even a microphone in the beer. Oh, dude, I met two nights ago, I met this fucking brilliant kid. Um, last night, I met a guy who called me a genius like over and over, but I realized he was batshit wasted. So that doesn't really count. But like after you guys left, that the Australian guy. Oh yeah, dude. The Australian guy was funny as shit. Um, actually, except second, hopefully I don't want. Born. God, we'll see. We'll see. So Ace just started. He's not even in there right now. He started. I think he went back, back to the other server. I kind of, I kind of miss what's uh. Hey, walk back. Got, I got, you don't have money, right? I'm assuming. Fucking hobo sapien. Oh, actually, let me ask Ja. Uh, names. Like Ja, right? I said Ja. They're like, what? John is actually ja. Janet. Hey, who am I? What am I sending I'm a message to? What am I doing I'm right now? What's I sending a message to? Who? I don't know. That's the problem. Oh, 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 my friend about the weed. Josh to Chloe. I was like, Chloe, oh, remember Josh? Nick and Josh? She's like, I remember Nick. I'm like, but do you remember Josh? Nick and Josh. I'm like, yeah, long beard. She's like, what? I'm like, Josh, work with him. What? Are you crazy? I don't know what you're talking could not remember Josh. I didn't know Josh's name at first. I thought Josh was Phil and Josh. Phil is the guy who lives next to Tia. I thought he was Josh. Phil and I thought Josh was... I, no, no, no. Phil, you don't know Phil. I just thought Josh. Yeah, Josh, long-haired long Josh. Long-bearded Josh, I thought was Phil. Josh. Phil have long beard. No, no. He looks like Steph Curry. It just was like... 
He has. I just didn't get their names right. I just didn't. I like, wasn't paying attention or something. And I. And... Oh, dude, it's cold out here. Holy shit, my hands. Are... Every day, keep that right. Like every day in the last couple days. Wait, it was that warm today? Hannah was supposed to wake me up, and she called me once. I said I, I, I told Hannah to snooze me at like one o'clock, and she didn't even at five thirty. I woke up. She's very unreliable. They never call me after breakfast, and I'm getting upset. He said a week from Saturday, he said, it'll be worth it. Lovely. If he's saying that about his own shit, like when he always is, I think, able to get rid of all of it, that's a, that's a good sign. Yeah, I'm going to probably try to get as much as, I might even ask my dad specifically, like, listen, do I smoke weed? Yes. Do I smoke a lot of weed? No. Do I, like, am I fully moved on to a down-to-earth life? No. Is, is there a process? Yes. Does that process involve working in both worlds, both creatively with a little bit of medication and a lot of the time off of any medication? It does. Should I get an efficient deal from somebody who grows beautiful weed, which is a magical minor you drug? Yes. Own, hmm? you grow your own. I should grow my own. You should. Oh, I should do it at the lake, out in public. What would they do? No, they should build a huge mobile and have good ventilation and learn about soil and learn about how to grow a good product. And it would make you attached to your product, and you would love it. But what, but what about also doing it publicly? What would what would the penalty be if I built a floating farm that was tied off to my dad's dock and grew like one gorgeous weed plant? What, what would they do? Take it. It's a fuck. It'd be a perfect thing. I'd film it. I hide a little webcam, and and no, a single inventive floating single plant lake farm. That lake has way too much nitrogen in it. There's tons of seaweed getting grown. We should probably cover that lake in points with floating like webs that grow plants. Like we should suck that nitrogen out of the lake because farms are where all that nitrogen is. If we if we could just harvest that seaweed, it would probably produce like edible. What? No, you can kind of look and see what I have. Like you can maybe take a hit, but aren't you going to Mary's? Just go to Mary's. Like what the fuck? I mean, if you don't have weed and I don't have weed and you have money, I give you money. You get some weed. What the fuck? Like you're gonna try to quit? Like, what the fuck? Huh? I mean, I'll, I think that this, I got this next time, this has to make it. So we'll be fine, whatever. I'll, uh. You want to eat some? Give me 25. I'll, give me 25. I'll give you 100. Uh, let's see. You want what? Yeah, um, I'll give you 100. I mean, I want to, I want I just want 60, but I can give you some. Or wait. Oh, you're buying 25. Okay, so I don't know. Get a, get a 60 for now, 30 and 30. Or, or 35, 25, whatever. So it takes you back, you saw on the phone. As we do our drug deals. Uh, oh, money, money, money. Dude, COVID is terrible, but it's also fucking dumb as fuck. So he's so my friend that that uh put he put it put I love you lol and it haha I love you too and I'm sending gay and it I'm it um it oh no it is it oh I do first of all you was know, like weed HD is not just HD it's also weed in high definition right like I want to do dude, here's the thing we're gonna do it we're gonna do a talk show in a green room back of the green room with the wall right it's like one dome and that quarter of a dome is all hydroponic seats right we do an episode, <clears throat> we do an episode every day the lights kind of behind us we're not lit super beautiful we'll lit beautifully but not brightly and the weed just grows yeah. every day and at the end of the harvest cycle that's the end of the show that's the final event smoke as much as we can and mail weed to all the people legally able to smoke it and get it to charity that we are the of uh i think so yeah 
much more uh, green. Just yeah, yeah, green. yeah, 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 what's, yeah. What's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, that artist is awesome. Love that artist, and I love that he did that because it was so easy to transplant so many turn over. And like, that idea that Mama should have, that's who he should have been. That's who he was supposed to be. He should have been this dude who was supposed to be that. This is, this is the guy, oh, dude. Yeah, I talk, this is the, guy, that dude, man. the right winger that Second I was talking term, Mama should have been that dude. Here, watch this, actually. I think, like, X, X, if you come back and you would just say so. Um, Yo, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to go on that. I'm ready to go. Well, this, this might be the, this. this might be it. Um, I loved it. But instead, they, they saying that. It was weird shit. You didn't know. And the sense of all that. It's called. You might have This called Darpa Smith. Darpa Smith. This, this, I'm going to send this to you, though. This is like me and the, and the Pepe guy. Um, uh, they probably won't play that much. They probably won't play that programs. Yeah, you can see I literally was playing National Security Artificial Intelligence. Send a message to us. Uh, what time? Nine. No, you make tonight. You... I just, I don't, I like, I like a few of you, not one of them. Fuck, one week from Sunday, and I get the kit. So, absolutely homegrown great weed. This is what. Wonder my fucking audio doesn't work. I keep stepping on my fucking. Actually, where, all my wireless shit seems to have a delay. That sucks. Let's check up Godless as well. X is gone. Time to breathe. 